good. And what's going on everybody? Remy here from the Rodeo Plays and welcome back to some more Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment. Uh, I don't know what we were doing last time we left off. I'm pretty sure we was fighting the uh, boss, whichever his name was. I don't remember. Uh, whatever the boss was for the previous tour we were on. Um, looking at the guild list now, we gotta fight the Skeleton King. He uses sword based attacks, performs powerful sword skills when HP is low. Uh, we got a complete rise of the undead, mm, so that's that. But, um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do that this episode. We're probably just gonna dick around with some friends in this episode. Take a stroll, take a stroll along, take a stroll around Trader's Way alone. Klein feels Klein is feeling down, visit him alone. Uh, all about to say, what the hell just happened? Uh, Yui is worried about you again, visit her in the Agio shop. Um, we can do something with Silica. I don't know, we'll probably do like, we'll probably do like the one with uh, Silicon and Yui. Let's see what Yui wants to talk about. Yui, we're back. Mommy, Daddy, I saw to see you. Thank goodness you made it back safe and sound. I bet you're about ready to collapse, huh? How about you stay put and rest up for a bit? That's just what we were thinking. Oh, goody, I'll leave, I'll leave you meeting. Sweet dreams. I'm totally beat. It's not like being in the lower floors anymore. That's for sure. Even Phil monsters really put us to the test. Hey, Kirito. Could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Asu? <laughs> Bear hug. I can't breathe. Crushed by Asu in soft bosom. Well, second thought, maybe there are worse ways to go. Being crushed by Sarah's bosom. <laughs> Looks like someone's blushing. Hey, I know. What do you say you let me take care of you today? Um, I... Yes, Kirito? Uh, <laughs> oh. Wowee! Are you about... Are you, are you just about to make babies? Uh... Yui? Since when have you been there? You seem really tired just now, so I thought you might want some hot tea to help you sleep. Well, Daddy, were you and Mommy just about to make a little sister for me? Uh, shit. Um, how do you, how do I explain this? <laughs> like, how do you explain, how do you explain to your daughter that y'all wasn't just about to make kids when it's like, nigga, I was about to, I'm about to, I'm about to do the thing. <laughs> uh, sister? Whatever gave you that idea? You can't fool me. You and Mommy were just about to kiss. And Mommy told me that babies were made when two people in love were kissed. Right, Mommy? Oh, oh, yes. I do remember saying something like that. You know what? I'll give this I'll give this game series one thing, right? If you go through an event with a character, they don't just drop that event that fast. They it, it gets brung up some way somehow later on in later events with them. Uh, oh, yes, I, I do remember saying something like that. Oh, silly me, I completely forgot. You can't make babies here in SAO. That's right. So, you see, we couldn't have been about to make babies now, could we? <laughs> hmm, my mistake. So, is this like practice or something? So, can you make babies anytime you want when you get back in the real world? Damn! Yui! You shouldn't be talking about making babies with such a loud voice. Is there anyone here right now besides us? If Suku overhears any of this, I will never hear the end of it. Hey Asuna, hey Asuna, something tells me that letting Yui believe that might, that might actually be more trouble in the long run. Imagine if she sees a couple kissing in town. Uh, uh oh, you might be right. Huh? What do you mean, letting me believe? Oh shit. Yui, we owe you an apology. We? We? Uh, Asuna, I didn't say nothing. Don't throw me into this bunch. Uh, you know what I told you about babies being made by kissing? That's... well... it's not true. What? You were just lying to me? But, but why would you do such a thing? Well, it wasn't a lie exactly. I mean, kissing is involved in making babies, but... It's just... to be honest... Explaining how babies are made is, well, it's really embarrassing. What's so embarrassing about it? It's the way biology ensures the survival of a species. So it must be pretty important. You're right, Yui. It is important. But that doesn't mean talking about it isn't also a little embarrassing. 
Hmm, humor sure can be weird sometimes. Does that mean you're not gonna tell me how babies are made after all? Your mommy will answer that question for you. Wait, I will? Can you tell I swear I'll... Uh -huh. Will you see, Yui? I mean, here's the thing. Would you rather the father tell the daughter how babies are made? I'd rather... I mean, this is just me. I'd rather the parent of the same sex of the child, if said parent is in that child's life, tell them about the birds and the bees. You know, the mother tells the daughter about the birds and the bees, and the father tells the son about the birds and the bees, so they get their perspective on it. You know, some people might be like, well, if the mother tells the son, then the, then the, then the son gets the mother's perspective of the birds and the bees. That is true, but, you know, same sex makes, the same sex telling the, that child about the birds and the bees just make it a little bit more easier. Hmm. You're too young to find out. You don't need to know just yet. Th that's right, Yui. Listen to your mom. It's not something a child your age needs to know. You won't tell me because I'm a kid? Well, children can't actually make other children, so it's a little complicated. Hmm. I guess a child can really show the responsibility of another living being, huh? Okay, makes sense. Besides, I enjoy being my and daddy's child, so I suppose I can wait a bit longer to find out. That's right. That's a good girl. We seem to satisfy her curiosity temporarily, but for how long? Jeez, just give me a boss monster to fight over like, over navigating this kind of stuff any day. <laughs> I feel it. Mm. Why why I gotta be the one to explain sex to my child? <laughs> oh, that that was due for a good laugh. Alright, we got Sina. Uh we got something to Aguil about. Um Wait, why do I have to speak to Agio for that? Because it's not up here. Alright, let's talk to Agio then. Hmm? What are you doing here? Oh, Kirito. We were just talking about hairstyles. Hairstyles? Like, what color would work with my hair? Like, what color would work well with my hair? I was thinking of getting it changed. Nah, that pink fits you. Hmm. Also, when Shay was talking about hairstyles, the first thing I thought was, oh, this is an all-female topic. I feel it. Asuna helped me dye my hair with this color. I've been waiting for a style change for some time now. Now that you mention it, I did help you dye it. Well, I haven't changed it since. It's good to change things once in a while. Change is always positive. Mm. 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 Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'll make mine easier to handle so I can move better. <laughs> I like having daddy trim my hair. Do you want to hairstyle daddy? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Me? I never really thought about it. Yeah, Kibito just gets the bowl cut or like he gets the frizzy hair and it's just like, well, I'm straight. <laughs> I guess as long as it doesn't get in the way of when I'm fighting, it doesn't really matter what my hairstyle is. Come on, Kirito. How can you be so indifferent? Your hairstyle says a lot about what kind of person you are. It's super important. Like your bangs paint. Like your bangs paint is a totally different length and pitch. Wait, what? Like your bangs paint a totally different picture depending on their length. Females only. <laughs> Don't know guy give a shit about that. It's like, okay, that's a female problem. S sorry, Asuna. What kind of hairstyle do you like, Kirito? I see. I see a game, Silica. You want to know his favorite hairstyle so you can change yours? So what do you like? Uh, uh, I'm just curious. But I might decide later to try that style out. Sure. Hmm. Hairstyles, huh? I'm not really up to date with the latest hairstyles out there. But I guess I would have to say I like how Silica's hair is right now. Really? You like my hair? So, that's what Kirito likes. Pigtails. It's not like... It's not that I like that hairstyle, I'm just saying, it suits Silica. So, it's my hairstyle you like. And I don't mean just Silica. I, I like Liz and Awesome too. You all look good with your hair, just the way it is. That sounds a lot like you're just... You, that sounds a lot like you're just used to wearing... To us all wearing our hair the way we do. That's not really my... Okay, maybe I'm saying that, but... Kito, she was just asking you an honest question. The least you do is give her an honest answer. I can't give an answer. I can't see awesome. I can't really give an answer to something that 
you that I don't I can't really answer a question I don't have an answer for you're saying what hairstyle I like he just said oh well uh, I didn't realize they keep jumping in and out of the first and third person it's always I and then he mm. but anyways it's like it's like you keep you're saying okay she needs a definitive answer it's like but I don't have a definitive answer for her question it's just I'm out of style with hairstyles I didn't mean to offend anyone, but I think we all understand what you mean. Everyone's style is stuck in your head as being the best one. But girls spend hours and hours in front of a mirror trying to get the, trying to make themselves look good for guys, Kirito. She's like right, Kirito. We need to be a bit more sensitive to our feelings. I'm sorry that it takes you hours to do something I can just call my barber and have it done in 10 minutes. I'm ter- I've turned into their pet punching bag. <laughs> then again, it's types like Kiso who fall for the quick, who fall for the quickest girl who charges, who changes up their style. Don't you think? Hmm. Maybe I'll cut my hair short like Sinon's then. Silica, I think you look better the way you are now. Huh? You do, Sinon? I was thinking this style is, looks a little childish. You are the queen of lollies, just accept it, Silica. There's just something about your hair that I really like. Oh? Huh? What about it? Try jumping on try jumping on the spot where you are. Okay. It's you how the bobs it's you how bobs from side to side. Huh? What do you mean? I think I get it. Sam likes it when your pigtails bounce and sway the way. It's way that way. Yeah. yeah, it's like I can't stop staring at how it moves or something. The bouncy, the bouncy movements remind me of, the, of a rabbit's ears flapping up and down. Now that you mention it, it is pretty noticeable. I have no idea. That's right, Lifa has her hair tied up too. She has a ponytail. Do you mind jumping up and down, Lifa? Sh sure. Um, like this? Lifa, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh. How do I put this? Uh, your set of personalities below your neck? Uh, you, you might start something. Yeah, definitely bobs up and down. He looks so cute. Huh? Ah. Called it. L L Leafa? Look somewhere else. I shouldn't look at this. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> oh my. They're so... Um, I didn't realize they're uh, bouncy. They're like two below. <laughs> Yui gives no. Yui has no chill. It's like, it's like in one episode she was groping everybody. The next episode she's like, they're like two balloons going up and down. Lisa, 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 stop! Your boobs are bouncing. Uh, Kitty toe, not looking, not looking. Why aren't any of you looking at my hair? Were you, supposed to, <laughs> were you supposed to look at it bouncing? We were, and then your set of personalities decided that they wanted to jump for joy too. It's not our fault, okay? You're... Well, some other bouncy things caught our attention at the same time. I can see what Keito means when he said bouncy things are noticeable. Damn. Right? That's why you change your hair, so okay. You have, no bounce, have no bounciness to catch people's attention. That's so mean, Sinon. Great. Now they're all going to be obsessed with the, with things that bounce. I need to be careful. I just need to be careful. I look at I look at the harmless kind of bounce when I look at Leafa. <laughs> oh man, I so called that. <laughs> uh, there's my homie Klein. Let's let's, let's pop a Klein. Y'all just making it. Hey there, Klein. What's up? You look pretty miserable. Oh hey, Kirito, this is this. I paid for this tip that said that there was a quest to learn an attack skill up on the 86th floor. Really? What kind of skills are we talking about here? Any advanced weapon skills? Excuse me, I'm tired. Just listen, okay? So I went to this old guy, and he kept talking and, he kept talking and talking, but he wouldn't initiate the quest. What a total waste. Why not? Didn't you meet the requirements? 
What did you talk about anyway? About how, about how he used to be a legendary warrior in his day? It was so long and boring. I forgot most of it. But there was something about taking out, taking out a dragon fly and some amazing marksmanship. Hey, maybe the quest got to do with throwing weapons? But a lot of players have thorns. But lots of players have thorns too. I haven't heard of them talking about a quest. Hmm, that's interesting. You think you know what's going on here, Kirito? I might. I'll be able, I might, I'll be sure to let you know what, I'll be sure to let you know if I can initiate that quest line. But, hey, wait a second, where are you going? If I'm right about this quest, then I gotta go find Xenon. Ah, just switched the whole role on him. Gain intel, uh, Silica, the, the quest is particular to Xenon, make sure she finds out, find her in her room. I can just literally go upstairs and do that. Um, I think I'm gonna do this thing, go do Silica's thing. I like Sinon. Sinon's the best girl for me. Sinon, are you here? I need, I need you to come with me. What's the big panic? Are we gonna try in the usual place? I'll explain everything later. But you have to come with me now. Hmm, where's that old man? Ah, there he is. Can you go talk to him, Sinon? Huh? Why do I need to talk to this guy? He has a skill learning quest that nobody's been able to initiate yet. Some people think it's got something to do with throwing weapons, but I think it's about sniping. Huh? Alright, I'll try to talk to him. Um, hello there, sir. Ah, uh, there you are. Got a parcel for me, have you? Huh? I'm not a postman. You're not? Huh. Oh, I know. You're Maria from the bakery. Why have you grown? Now, I haven't told you the story yet, have I? 30 years ago, I was a mighty warrior. What, what is this nonsense? Klein said it might take a while, but I think it's better to just sit tight and listen. Man, these RPGs sure are annoying. <laughs> At my arrow flew right to its eye. The end. I didn't miss anything, did I? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm trying not to, I'm not trying to show off. The point is, you need to prove your worthy by inheriting my skill. And do so, you need to fetch your trial amulet from the dungeon on this floor. You need this key to get to, get to it. Bring the amulet back once you've acquired it. So, did I do okay, Kirito? You did great. And I was right about the player needing a sniping skill to initiate the quest. So if we clear this quest, I'll become a better archer, right? You bet. Clear this quest, and you get an advanced sniping skill. Mark my words. Oh, great. Looks like, I'll, looks like it was worth listening to that boring story after all. What? What's the matter? Why are we acting like that? Oh, uh, it's your face. Oh, it's just your face was really close. Your face was really close right now. It gave me a real shock. Oh, uh, right. The floor quest. Right, the floor quest dungeon is north of the labyrinth. So let's stock up on potions and head over there right away. Sure thing. So can we just go straight there or? Oh, she's already in my party. Look how that works. That's crazy, isn't it? Oh, we got Yui. Now I get it. Kissing is for expressing love and not for making children. I get it now. It somehow clicked when mommy gave me a kiss. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. What if, what if she still believed that? If she was like, mommy, you just get, mommy, we're gonna have a baby, right? <laughs> right? Next time, can I have a kiss from you too, Daddy? No. You get a hug. <laughs> You're not gonna have Chris Hansen knocking at my door. <laughs> Coming in. Hey, Kitty, so why don't you go ahead and take a seat? <laughs> so this new quest. I'm so excited I can barely think of anything else. It's on the 86th floor's dungeon. Am I right? I'd love to go there when we can, if you're up for it. Uh, the 86th floor. Fuck. Uh, your armor should hold up. That's that DLC armor she got on. It should hold up. Alright, here we go. Cut all that extra that was in there out. It's like we've really gotten into the depths of this place. Look, the key gate is just glowing. I guess that means it'll open this door. It sure looks like it. it sure looks like it anyways. Shall I open it? Yeah, but, yeah, but I bet there's something on the other side, so be careful. Okay, I'm opening it now. 
What's on the other side? Hmm. No monsters, huh? No monsters, huh? Look at each other. On the top of that altar is the trial amulet. Sure, it looks like it, but it's way too high for us to reach. You gotta snipe it off. Makes sense. Skill related quests allow always require you to use those skills. So maybe you need to fire an arrow at the amulet to knock it off the altar? Now that you mention it, it is odd that the man did mention something about shooting items from far away. And there's a platform over there that would give me a nice clean shot. That's good. It'd be hard to hit the amulet from below. <laughs> okay, I'll go up there now. How's it looking, Sinon? You climb, you climb up? If you dare look up now, I'll shoot you before I shoot any amulets. Right. I'm not even looking in your direction, so don't worry. Alright. It's pretty long range. It's a pretty long range shot, but I can definitely hit it. She hit it with the first shot from such an amazing long from such a long distance. She you knows amazing. Whoa. Can you tell? Blast. The floor just suddenly vanished. Guess it was some kind of trap. I got distracted by the ambulance. I didn't notice it until it was too late. Sinon? Of course. Sinon didn't fall. She's still standing up there by herself. Sinon? Sinon, what's going on up there? It's a monster. A, a boss monster. It just came off the altar. What? This is one sneaky trap, Sinon. Do you have any- Do you have a teleport crystal? It's no good. Crystals don't work in this area. Of course not. Well, I guess there's only one way to, the, for the, to change things. I have to keep moving. It gets, I have to keep moving and look for a route back up there. Hold on, Sinon. I'm on my way. Okay. I'll manage until you get here. Not to like Sinon won't, won't be able to hold off a boss monster for that long. It's a tough situation. But there's no way There's no way I'm giving up and abandoning Sinon. Oh, great. Where the fuck am I? I don't have a map to this place, so that's great. Oh! <laughs> See, everybody got a deck and they just scared the shit out of me. Bro, they just scared the shit out of me. I'm actually irritated. Okay. Dead? Dead. Not dead. That's. Picture with this nightmare rain. Did you only have much health? Mm. Alright. There. That door. Sinon's behind it. Sinon's behind that door. Kirito! Kirito! I made it. She doesn't, she doesn't have much MP left, but she's still alive. Now you have to fight me! Oh shit, yeah, no no wonder arrows weren't gonna be enough. Okay, protect Xenon. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I, I need to kill you fast. That's, that's all I'm getting from this. Yeah, uh-huh. You keep snagging up on the distance. Uh, that's all I can see. This will be radio shine because I ain't really got a much of a map. I can't just run around because Sinon, Sinon's about to die. I just keep that. Sinon just died. I didn't even have to look back and see it, nor look at her health. I just heard the sound effect. Okay, let's try this again. I'ma fuck it up. What the hell are you doing? Get down here. Yeah. 
Bruh. Okay, this motherfucker is testing my patience. Should be dead? Not dead. Okay. Dead now. Hey, he's a dead man. He's a dead man, Mr. Grinch. Phew. We won. Kirito. Kirito. See not. Thank goodness. If I hadn't made it, if I hadn't made it in time, I, you. Kirito. I needed you come. After all, you promised to look after me, didn't you? Huh? Well, yeah, I guess I did. And you kept your promise. You protected me several times now. You only beat the boss because of you, Sinan. I couldn't have managed it all by myself. I didn't know because I knew you were coming. But because you promised me. That's why I was able to keep fighting. I didn't even feel scared. So really, I think it's thanks to you that we were able to, def to, def to do what we did. Sina. Listen, Kirito. What is it? I always wanted to be able to survive on my own in this world. And that hasn't changed. But if I do end up getting in trouble like that, like I did today, will you come and help me? Of course I will. My promise still stands. I look after you whenever. I look, I'll look after you whatever happens. Yay! The show wasn't easy. And now we've got to hand over the amulet to the old guy and we're done. You should get a powerful skill reward for after a tough, after a tough quest like that. I sure hope so. I don't want to be the assault team's weakest member anymore. After the way you fought that boss, I don't think there's anything weak about you. Keep powering up at this rate, and I can see you clearing the game one time. Clearing the game, huh? Say, Kirito, when did your promise to protect me expire? It doesn't expire. I'll protect you forever. Even, even after we go back to the real world? If that's what you want. Really? I don't think I don't think that this is a promise you can keep you can make lightly. I'm not making it lightly. You're a very important friend, you know. A friend, huh? <laughs> I love how they I love how they say that and be like and be like slightly upset. It's like, oh, you don't only see me as a friend? Bitch bitch, aren't you best friends with his girlfriend? I don't I'm not understanding. A friend, huh? <laughs> Whoa, this is just my way of saying things. I promise you're not going to have to look after me forever. But I'm still glad you're looking after me now. Sina and I... Well, damn. I don't want you to remember any of this. In fact, you should forget it ever happened. Have you ever told anyone? There'll be an arrow in your back before you know it. Hey, wait a second. She didn't need, she didn't need to threaten me. I can't tell anyone about this anyway. See now I'm learning the sword skill. Million howling. I like how Sinon's that type of person where she's like, oh I'm so cute and right now. But but if I do something cute with you, I swear to god, let let word get out that we did it. I promise you there'd be a knife in your back before you know it. When we get back to the real world, I got something to tell you. So let's make sure we get there, okay? Until then, thank you. For everything, Kitty Tail. I feel like I know what that's going to be about. But yeah, we're going to end this video right here. Um, actually, yeah, we're going to end this video right here because, yeah. So when we come back, um, we'll do, uh, we'll take a stroll around Trader's Way and we'll do the thing for Silica, and then eventually we'll just get to the boss fight within that same episode, hopefully. So yeah. Uh, with that being said, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Wait, this is a marriage ceremony, right? So if we're sworn to love one another, isn't there something that usually comes after that? You're right. Okay, Asuna, face this way. Okay. That thumbnail photo, though. Thou hast sworn thy love to one another before.